Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over lighting because it's honestly the most asked question on every video's comment section, okay? Like, everyone's like, bro, how did you make the lighting? And they always bring up this game in particular. Now, I have watched quite a few lighting tutorials on Roblox and all of them say kind of the same thing. Uh, add a bunch of stuff in here, like left click or right click, I mean, insert object and add a bunch of stuff. No, 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 no. What I have in here is an atmosphere, which is this purple thing you see, like all of the purple right here. Uh, you could change the color of it right here, guys. Like it could be anything you want. I did purple because it matches my game's aesthetic. I'm going for a more of a space theme. So I did purple and then you can adjust everything like this. This is haze. So how much of it there is, as you can see, like now everything is purple. But if I put this at two, it gives a cool little like ombre effect towards like my skybox which is this thing right here and uh in the actual atmosphere itself so that's what i do with atmosphere you can add that into any game and it doesn't have to be as harsh as this either this could be a one and even this looks pretty cool i might actually keep it like this uh i i always change my lighting like i do it daily i feel like so this is the atmosphere and what it does there is a bunch of settings in here that you can do i don't do too too much density at 0.2 and i ch changed the color and i changed the haze that's all i did for the sky it's a toolbox like i just go on there find a sky box that fits my game the best all right so that's what i picked for this game and then color correction Here's my settings for it. I'm not really gonna go too far into it. You just have brightness, contrast, saturation. Uh, I always bump saturation in pretty much all of my games, at least a little bit. Don't overdo it or you will hurt everyone's eyes, but uh, bump it up a little bit, you know? Give some zest, some feel, you know? And uh, here's all my settings for the color correction. Now, if this doesn't look good in your game, well, this is just color correction, so these will probably look good, but you couldn't copy this atmosphere settings in your game specifically, because, hey, it's, uh, it's, you probably don't have a space game. For example, if you were to have a beach, you could have, like, a whole different vibe, okay? Um, if you had a scary map, you could change this to, like, a really dark kind of, like, something like this, you see? And now it's, uh, well, I didn't save it, but, <laughs> and now it'd be a scary vibe. So you always just change it to fit your game the best. And last but not least, the lighting properties themselves. Like, this is something i slept on for so so long until exodus taught me like bro go into these properties i had never touched any of these until uh until exodus told me to so uh right here our ambience we have a space themed game so we have a kind of a pinkish purple ambience don't go too hard on this as you can see if i click right here we're on the very like we're closer to white than we are to the colors if you want a green ambience go way down here guys okay stay in this range like very pastel like colors that aren't gonna hurt your eyes if i go way up on this it's not really gonna look too good okay unless you're going for a spooky game then this would look pretty cool but this is where we're at for my game brightness bumped it up to two color shift bottom and color shift top this is the gaming area so like here's bottom Here's top, okay? Pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. And uh, for color shift top, I don't really know why we picked this color, um, but it just it just did did well. <laughs> and then white, uh, I usually always put white because it's just a very neutral, it's not even a color. I guess it is, but it's not, so there's that. Environmental, we put both of these at 0.3. Global shadows, this is personal opinion. If you don't want them, eh, if you do, I personally like them. Because, you know, they give a little bit more life, I guess, to the map, I, I want to say. It also makes it seem a little more full than it is. So, I like to have global shadows. Outdoor ambient, once again, a very purpley blue type thing, since we're going for a space aesthetic. Shadow softness, 0.15. I don't want shadows that are, like, like crisp. And I don't want shadows that are just weird blobs, okay? So... Eh, 0.15 is just like my, my little sweet spot on here. Lighting technology. This is highly up to you. Future's pretty cool, as you can see. Uh, it's the most realistic lighting, but uh, for this particular project, it does not really fit well. Uh, so I went with Shadow Map. The other two are just kind of old, outdated. They look pretty bad. Um, and then Voxel. 
Uh, I just don't personally like them. Shadow Map is by far my favorite lighting technology in Roblox. Uh, for the low poly style, if you're going more realistic, definitely go future lighting. Now for clock time, this geographical attitude, all of this stuff, it highly depends on your game. Of course, my game is space themed, so it is going to be dark. It's going to be nighttime. And uh, that's that's this. Like if I go like this, you know, now it's all daytime and stuff. Now it's nighttime. It's all good. I don't even remember what I had this at. Probably two. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Geographical attitude. I believe that's where the moon or sun is positioned. Yeah. So check that out. We could have like a sun, which doesn't really make sense at all. And it kind of gets rid of our stars. So let's just go back to where we were. I'm thinking something like this. All right. I don't remember where we were. I think we were at 40. All right, there we go. So <laughs> there's our moon. That's just where your moon or sun is in Roblox. You can also change uh, the moon and the sun. Like if I wanted to make this a Roblox logo, I could. Uh, I don't remember how to do that right off the top of my head. But if you want a tutorial on that, I'll, I'll get it refigured out and I got you guys, okay? You can make the moon like Shrek's face if you wanted to. <laughs> so that could be fun for a meme game or something like that. And then uh, this is just, you know, time of day, kind of the same as clock time. And these are pretty, this is always marked. And then this guy right here, exposure compensation, I have mine on 0.5. You can move this all around however you want to do it to match your game the best. There's some simulators that look like this, some games that look like this. Eh, I'm thinking right in the middle, guys. 0.5. It's looking great. It's fantastic. And those are my lighting settings for this game. And the lighting settings that are pretty universal just change the color of them, okay? Color correction is definitely something you could copy. The sky is a toolbox sky, and the atmosphere is just um, right click right here, insert object, and go to atmosphere. Now, there is a ton more settings you can add to make your game look the best, but personally for me, I think the simplistic way is kind of key. If you guys would like me to make a more complex like lighting pack that you could just kind of drag and drop and then edit into your game, I'll go ahead and do that if this video gets 200 likes, guys. But that is going to wrap it up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.